Um, how did you find yourself in the cave of shadows in the first place? Snake, isn't that the question? That is the one thing I've said that's missing in the whole Plato's cave analogy, right? In Plato's cave, he starts it off with there's there's a bunch of prisoners chained to their seats, um, seeing the seeing images on the cave wall. But it's not no one asks who are these prisoners? Where do the prisoners come from? What are they prisoners from? Why why are they in this thing? Where did the cave come from? Was the cave manufactured? Is it always done? Is it the, the whole thing has never it's like that whole first part that should be a key. The key, first key questions are ignored. And I would agree. That's, if anything, in a Plato's cave analogy, the, the, you have to answer those questions. If like, who or what is in the cave? What is the cave? How is it generated? How is it, you know, that's an actual, that's an actual uh, part that's really missing. Um, oh, sorry, Shepherds of Arcadia. Is it possible the painting is superimposed over a map? 